Hi there guys, hope you're doing well. This is your friend and tutor Manas. So let's see what this problem has in store. Here we go. A sphere of mass M rests in a V groove whose sides are inclined at angles alpha and beta to the horizontal. Another identical sphere of mass M rests on the first sphere and in contact with the side inclined at an angle alpha. Find the reaction RB on the lower sphere at the point B. Alright, so let us try to understand this arrangement. So there are two spheres. One is the lower sphere, other one is the upper sphere. So let me just write this down. Okay, now both both these spheres in fact are placed in this what do you call V group. Okay, now this portion is inclined at an angle of beta and this portion over here is inclined at an angle of alpha. That's quite obvious. Now, uh, to go ahead, we're going to be working out the various forces which are acting in this particular arrangement. So for that, you have to do just a little bit of construction this way and let us say that this point is uh, this is a this is b c and let's say that this point is d so there is going to be a reaction offered from the surface okay normally and uh, let us right now say that this reaction is represented by r d okay similarly a reaction will be from a okay, again normal to the surface and let us just say that this is r a. Sim similarly you're going to have a reaction from here this side okay normal to the surface obviously this is going to be called as rb and since these two spheres are in contact with each other upper sphere okay the upper sphere will actually apply a force apply a reaction in this direction okay directed towards the center of this lower sphere so the reaction from the upper sphere onto the lower sphere is going to be what you call r c and the reaction from the lower sphere onto the upper sphere is something that you call R C again that's it now to go ahead with angles let, let me slightly extend this okay yeah pretty good and here also you can clearly see this this angle over here is alpha and hence here also you're gonna have angle alpha and here angle alpha similarly here you are having this angle beta and if you try to extend this, then this angle shall work out as beta. And this angle shall also work out as beta. Now angles have been worked out. Forces have been worked out. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to be separating these two spheres to bring a sense of clarity. Okay. And then we're going to be using Lamy's theorem to solve this particular problem. And I would suggest all you guys that whenever you see problems based on cylinders or spheres, who are in contact with either walls or who are contact with each other try to use Lamy's theorem it's very effective and it's very less time consuming or you can also say very less computations are there okay so let's go ahead with separating these two bodies okay now here this is the center of upper sphere and this is the center of lower sphere and you have this in the form of mg okay let me let me m g so this particular center is for upper sphere so let's say this is center s1 and this is center s1 okay and let me write this as m g both both these spheres in fact are having the same weights okay in the form of mg now if this is mg then this this angle over here this angle over here is how much this is beta so i shall write over here angle beta very small all right okay now let's go ahead with another force now there is this force coming from this direction this is rd i'm, I'm going to be placing rd over here uh, it's going to be something like this okay this way and you can clearly see that this is the force rd this is the force rd and what we need to work out is how much angle is this rd making with this vertical and you can clearly see with this if you consider this to be the vertical let me try to make this in a proper way if we consider this to be the vertical this rd is making an angle of alpha with the vertical okay and here also the way angle will be alpha since uh, these two lines intersect and these are what you call vertically opposite angles so here we can write this as alpha and here i can write this as alpha done what's next so for this upper sphere we have um, mg done we have uh, incorporated rd done the only thing left is this one rc okay what's what's to be done with rc so you can clearly see that this rc is somewhere here yeah pretty much okay 
um, somewhere along this direction this direction i'm trying try to say this direction all right so this is what you call rc and this rc is making an angle of beta you can clearly see over here i've written down beta with the vertical with the vertical so if with the vertical it is making an angle of beta here also it's going to make an angle of beta and here i'm going to write this as r c and that's what do you call angle beta okay now i'm going to be applying lemy's theorem to compute the value of rc okay i'm going to be changing my pen color right now as i'll be writing an equation okay let me use a blue color for this purpose now lemy's theorem what exactly is lemy's theorem it states that if three forces in equilibrium are acting at a point then each force is proportional to the sine of the angle between the remaining two forces how exactly lemy's theorem can be applied let me show you so i'm going to be applying lemy's theorem all right so there is this upper sphere that is s1 and you have this mg so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be writing mg okay so sine of the angle between the remaining two forces so for if mg is the main force then the remaining two forces are rc and rd and sine of the angle sine s i n remaining two forces so the angle between rc and rd is alpha plus beta okay so i'm going to write over here alpha plus beta is equal to let us say i'm going to take this rc into consideration all right so if that is the case then the sine of the angle between rd and mg is going to be sine of this is how much this this angle is sub something that we are supposed to calculate let me let me do this this is the angle and if this line is 180 degrees so 180 minus alpha so this is what 180 minus alpha so i'm going to write over here sine of 180 minus alpha and finally we have this r d okay so watch this carefully sine of angle between um rc and mg so what is the angle between rc and mg this is the angle between rc and mg and this angle shall work out as again this is going to be 180 minus beta so i'm going to write this as 180 minus beta and ultimately if i write this again you have mg over sine of alpha plus beta is equal to rc over sine alpha is equal to rd over sine beta and finally you can compute the values of both rc and rd it's pretty simple okay rc is going to be equal to mg sine alpha over sine alpha plus beta so that's um, the value of reaction at c okay now let's try to work out this sphere two okay let's write this as sphere number two and um, let me this is going to be sphere two all right so let me draw a vertical line okay for taking the reference for angles so what i'm going to be doing is this is angle beta then obviously this angle is also going to be referred to as beta that's that's pretty obvious and then secondly we have this angle ra so what about this angle ra so ra is, is actually from starting from here yeah so that's angle ra for you so that's angle ra for you and this over here is sphere 2 okay that's ra and finally we have this obviously we are acting in the downward direction pretty obvious okay what's next now guys if you can clearly see that this is rc okay and over here this upper sphere is going to um, apply same amount of force that is rc force somewhere along this line of action so rc is going to be over here okay guys now you can clearly see that this rb and rc rc and rb both these forces are having the same line of action this purple line you see purple dashed line you see okay now what i'm going to assume is i'm going to assume that rb is greater than rc okay so then collectively we can write these two forces in the form of rb minus rc okay so what i'm going to write here is rb minus rc and similarly 
I'm going to be applying Lemmy's theorem once again. And this angle obviously is going to be beta. This over here is going to be alpha. So let's just write it. Okay. So what is the force that you're going to take initially? Um, mg upon sine. It's okay. Mg is the force. The remaining two forces are this guy and this guy and the angle between them is alpha plus beta obviously it's pretty simple and please uh, remember this whenever you deal with problems based on spheres or cylinders try to make use of Lamy's theorem it's, it's going to be very easy very less time consuming and very less calculation based okay and then we have this rb minus rc upon so the remaining two forces are ra and mg so this angle is obviously going to be how much 180 minus alpha so sine of 180 minus alpha and finally we have this guy ra whole divided by so the remaining angle remaining forces are rb minus rc and mg so the angle between them is this one this angle obviously is going to be how much 180 minus not beta it's going to be 180 minus ha ah, yes 180 minus beta all right all right all right it's going to be sine of angle of 180 minus beta I'm going to consider this one and then I'm going to solve it for RB. Okay, so MG over sine of alpha plus beta is equal to RB minus RC upon sine of alpha. Now, if you were to calculate the value of RB instantly, then RB shall be equal to this sine alpha will be over here so mg sin alpha upon sin alpha plus beta mg sin alpha upon sin of alpha plus beta okay then plus rc so what is the value of rc and this is rc same stuff mg sin alpha upon sin alpha plus beta so ultimately ultimately the value of rb shall work out as twice of mg sine alpha over sine alpha plus beta so that's the reaction at this point b okay that's it guys so guys, that was all from my side for today. If you like the content and presentation in this video, do give it a big thumbs up. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of mechanics, then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit. I'll see you again with a new problem. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep learning.